weeks, and I said all the time that he's one of the best in the pocket. Well, you know what? The Bills, they collapsed that pocket. They were all over him. Strip sack right here. It's stripped by Jerry Hughes. It's recovered by Tredavis White, who was all over the field yesterday. Now we're still in the third quarter. Seahawks trailing 27 to 10. 27 to 10. They make something happen. DJ Dallas. They want to get the party started. Talk to the DJ. He plays sweet music. That's six. Fourth quarter. Bills lead 27 to 20. All right, Josh Allen. He's going to dump it off to who? John Brown. This was third and 16. Third and 16. What a big play for their team. It just seems like they can do no wrong. They are making plays. All the guys that need to make plays, they did it for them. Allen goes over 400 yards passing on the day. John Brown had eight for 99. And this is a touchdown by Zach Moss. We talked about that two-headed monster in the backfield for the Buffalo Bills. Russell Wilson dropping back, trying to make something happen. Who's there? Trey Day. Oh, yeah. Trey Day comes up with it. Him down. Get him, Get him down. down. No. Trey Day trying to make them pay, and he almost did. That pretty much iced it. Russell Wilson, to the season. All right? And then you have Josh Allen. He says, you know what? I'm going to ice it myself. He made them pay. When the Seahawks turned the ball over, Josh Allen did what he was supposed to do, got his team in the end zone. Let's hear it from the game-winning quarterback. When I'm sitting here, 7-2. Um, you know, we're, we're excited what we can do and um, how we can play, but we understand that only, you know, not only – or seven wins doesn't get you into the playoffs. So we got to continue to find ways to keep stacking weeks and uh, focusing on it one week at a time. And like I said, we know um, – we got a different challenge next week that we got a game plan for. And um, you know, every time you step on the field, it's a little bit different. So we got to be ready for it, uh, whatever the case may be, and um, go from there. Big win for this Buffalo squad. Trey's what stood out to you? 415 yards, four touchdowns, went head to head with Russell Wilson and was the better quarterback yesterday. Josh Allen stood out for me. And Sean McDermott in the postgame comments reveals. Josh Allen's grandmother passed away Saturday mm-hmm. night. Wow. Mm. Passed away, and he didn't say anything to anybody in the media. He kind of just kept it. The amount of emotions that were probably swimming around his head and people starting to doubt Josh Allen a little bit. They're 7-2 and two for the first time since 1993. He's third in the league in passing yards. Mm. And this guy is the leader of a team that is the dominant team in the AFC East right now. I know two was coming. Mm-hmm. I know two was coming, and I get it. Mm-hmm. But this was a, hey, remember us. They lost a couple games, and everyone yeah. jumped off that bandwagon. They've now won a few games in a row, and Josh Allen was awesome. Rest in peace for his grandmother. I know that was a big deal for him, and it was heavy on his shoulders. But, God, this guy was awesome yesterday in a must-win for the Bills against the Seahawks. Are you talking about Tua like he's Omar from oh, yeah. Wire? Oh, he's a very, he's whistling, farmer in the Dow. Um, awesome win. I agree for the Bills. Almost a, almost their signature win. The week after they beat the Patriots, they're supposed to have an emotional letdown. And the secret about the Bills is their defense has not been very good. Mm. I mean, it's not. It's like it's un- un-Bills-like. And yet they roughed up Russell Wilson yesterday. I mean, they roughed him up bad. It's not only two interceptions, it's two turnovers. You almost didn't recognize Russ out there because every once in a while you have a bad game. Even Russell Wilson. And he deserves better than the Seattle defense. If Russ is not magic, this Seattle team doesn't have a chance. I mean, we're throwing end zone interceptions. And maybe it's Russ. Maybe it's just the Buffalo D. But I thought the whole thing with the Bills are supposed to be flipping the corner now. And they're supposed to be running the ball now. And it's Colt. No. Air it out. Rough the hell out of Russell Wilson. And let me just say this. MVPs don't have four turnover games and blowout losses on the road. It doesn't happen. This thing is getting shooken up fast, and watch out for Mahomes over in Kansas City. No doubt, Russell Wilson is usually a magician. It was almost like that Bill's defense was a magic tricks revealed. The masked man showing I you how that it works. I love that special. I didn't like it. I don't like it. Uh, I love snitch, it. man. He's a snitch. <laughs> oh, but no, seriously, I'll be quick because we got to go to commercial break. Five sacks. 11 QB hits. Shout out to that Bills defense. Yeah, well, we got one more game to talk about. We got oh, Steelers, nice. Steelers highlights, and they played the Cowboys. Let's get to the highlights here. Steelers, Cowboys, Steelers 7 0. They're going to go 8 0 for the first time ever. Ever. Ben Roethlisberger looking for Eric Ebron. Great jump, great touchdown. Roethlisberger had 306 and three touchdowns. It wasn't easy, though. And at the end here, Gilbert had a shot. Third and four, no time left going, and it's Minka again knocking it away. Second week in a row, Minka I like Gilbert. The ball away. I like him too. Yeah, Gilbert, <laughs> good. Call him Gilbert Godfrey on the show five times on Friday. Yep. It's, Gil- it's Garrett Gilbert. It's right. Garrett Gilbert. His, his father, Gail, played in five straight Super Bowls. Yep. Four for the Bills and yep. one for the Chargers. But he lost last night. Okay. More highlights ahead. Let's welcome in the rap sheet, though. Ian Rapporter, NFL Network insider. Ian, good morning to you. Washington quarterback Alex Smith took the field yesterday because of a brutal injury to the starter. Kyle Allen, what's the latest with him? I loved seeing him throw a touchdown. 
Yeah, it sounds like we are going to see more of Alex Smith going forward with Kyle Allen, who has been the starter ever since Dwayne Haskins was benched, is out indefinitely. The reason you saw it very clearly on the TV last night is that Kyle Allen suffered a dislocated ankle uh, when he was leg bent awkwardly, and, and certainly uh, that's something that, unfortunately, Alex Smith can, uh, can relate to it as far as major injuries here. But it seems like Kyle Allen may have dodged a little bit of a bullet. There is a fracture, but it's a small one, described to me as more of a bone chip than anything else. Kyle Allen has an MRI today, and it is possible that he may not even need surgery. Maybe unlikely, but at least possible. At this point, no one has declared him out for the season for sure. Going to find out more today. We just know he is clearly not going to start the next several weeks. So you are going to see Alex Smith, one of the coolest comebacks.